everyone, we are back with the owner of Davio's Northern Italian Steakhouse, who is preparing a beautiful and decadent and delicious pumpkin potato gnocchi, perfect for fall. Please welcome to our home, for the first time, hopefully not the last, Chef Steve DeFilippo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Everyone's so, also very excited to eat your delicious gnocchi. You. I mean, it's Man. it's so fragrant. Right. The entire family has. Well, you say us. gnocchi, which is correct, but how do you think we say it in Boston? Gnocchi. Gnocchi. Oh, <laughs> who said that? You You're said. welcome. Right? East Coaster. Yeah. That's yeah. Gnocchi. Yeah. Yeah. Gnocchi. Yeah. So the good gnocchi or gnocchi, mm -hmm. however you choose to say it, <laughs> starts with the dough, but it's not really dough at all. It's more. Well, it's well, just rice potato. Yeah, it's really potato. You want to take a potato and you want to peel it and you want to cook it and cool it. Right. Okay, that's what yeah. this mostly is, potato. Okay. And the, and the real key to our gnocchi, in my opinion, the best thing about it. It doesn't have a lot of flour. Because my grandmother used a lot of flour. She obviously didn't have a lot of money, so they used flour as cheap. And they were heavy, right? And that's gnocchi, why the gnocchi you, was so... You, you, it was just like lead, right? Yeah, it did so our gnocchi is very light because it has very little flour. And it's mostly potato. Okay, so that's we make a sort of right. volcano right, so we with put the that, potato. And then, and then we put the eggs in. Right, in okay, the center of the well. Right? And then I'm going to take uh, some... This is the... Puree. This is the pumpkin puree. So you want to and make sure your potato's cooled, yeah. though, correct? Yeah, this is cool, yeah. So we're going to put this pumpkin in here. And, you know, what I recommend, you know, you can take real pumpkin, you can roast it, and go through this whole craziness, right? Don't bother. Just go to your, <laughs> you know, just go to the store, get some, some pumpkin puree. And, and this is coming yeah, from a man yeah, that right. has a, a very successful right. high-end restaurant, right. many of them. <laughs> well, I just, I, you know, I just think it's silly. You know, you're going to go through no. all this work, and you're going to roast it, and then they're going to be wet, and it's not going to be like this. See, this is really right. thick and heavy, and that's what you want. You want they know what they're you know, doing when they put and, it in a can. And you know what? And, well, I didn't say a can. You said the can. I'm, I'm not supposed to say a can. But you go to the store, and and, and that's really what, because it actually has more flavor. Right. It, it really true. does, yeah. So you just kind of mix this all together. Listen, when okay. I'm making pumpkin pie, right. that's what I use. Right. So, you know, I'm going to use my hands, because, okay. you know, because right. we're going to cook it later. Do. And then, you know, you put a little pepper in here, a little salt in here, and then the flour, you, you have to add a little flour to help it bind it. But really, okay. that's just it. That yeah. Well, it's a little, yeah. Bit. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, of course, the egg really helps, and then, you know, the flour, and then... I'll, and then we let this sit for 30 yeah, we'll, minutes right, before we're gonna, we make it into right, the little rolls. Right, we're going to make it... A, yeah, that's it. It's it's just so simple. And why and do then, we let it sit for 30 minutes? Because you want it to get together and, and make it, you know, so it's so you can cut so it. sort of combines. Yeah, because yeah, that's the thing. And then we right. roll it out. You roll it out, yep. So I'm going to okay. move on from this, because okay, I can sit here for, 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 for like another 10 minutes. I'm going to move this for And you. I think you're going to knock you're gonna me out of the You're going to wipe your hands off. Yep. It and is amazing to me how, how little flour that right. needed to be put in there. Right. I mean, that's a... Yeah. I know. That's really the key. And now and now we're going to... You're a nice... You're a great assistant. So what we're going to do now, this is after they were... And we rolled them out. Okay. okay. And now we're going to cut them into just a little, and you want them to be the same size because when you cook them, you want them to be the same because then they'll be cooked the same way. Like if, let's right. say I went like this, right? And no, I cooked That's not going to cook. Okay. Now this one's going to take longer, right? Than right. this one. So you really want them to be all like that. Very important. And then. Well, it's good that you can eyeball it because you've been yeah. doing it for so long. Yeah. I made a thousand of these things. Now, after you cut these, yes. you cannot just drop them straight into the boiling water. No, because it's going to be potato soup. You really want them to be frozen. So what we would do is we cut them, put them on, on a pan like this, like okay. this. Just cut them into inches. And how long would you freeze them? Overnight is good. You want it to be really rock solid. And you would keep right. them for, you'd only pull out the ones that you're actually going to cook and the rest just keep frozen. Wow. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. So let's, we're going to take these and throw them in the freezer, right? Okay. These are in All the right. freezer. See you later. So the ones over yeah. there have right. already been frozen. These are frozen right here. So these, look at these beautiful things. Aren't these cut beautiful? So now we have some really hot, hot water. Okay. And we salt it. Now make sure you salt your water. I, yeah, I really nice. find home cooks, people just don't salt their water properly. So it should be salted like Yeah, you, re you really do. You want to use a lot of salt. I mean, it's, it's really, really important. Okay, so now we're going to take these in here, and you want the water really rapidly... Boiling. Boiling. Very, very important. And how important. long will you... These are going to be in here for like a minute, two That's minutes. That's it? Yeah, because I'm going to throw them in a hot sauce. Okay. All right. So when you... The reason... One of the reasons that you over salt the water is because then you don't salt after? Right. Well, you can salt later, but you... If you salt later, the salt pops off it. The salt now is going to go inside the gnocchi. Which is what so you want. So it's throughout the whole pasta. Mm. Okay. That's why you salt water. That's why you... Do you ever wonder why you salt pasta water? It's because you want the salt it's inside, inside the pasta. The spaghetti, right. So, because once it's cooked, it's not going inside. It's just popping off. Okay, so after that, after the gnocchi's yeah, so, ready, yeah. so you're what gonna, we're gonna, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go like this, scoop them out, and put it okay. in this beautiful it's, butter sauce. Right. So, what's in your butter sauce? It's uh, sage. There's amaretto in here. There's uh, butter, okay, that's salt, and pepper. It's very. Does this smell unbelievable? Yeah, that oh my god! Unbelievable. That smells so good. All right. Uh, so now we're just gonna. <laughs> if he doesn't it's, very, it's, himself, yeah. it's very simple. That, that, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So it, this this sauce could go on anything. It doesn't have to. It could go well, on your finger. And it ice cream, maybe. I don't know. We'll try that. <laughs> oh, I got. I yeah. put on ice cream. So now we're gonna finish it. We're gonna put it on the plate here. Okay, let me move right. this guy. I'm gonna move him. Yep. There you go. So what we do. 
Just put them right here. Oh, look at that and sauce. It's oh, that no. it's already in your that is so good. Yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna top it off. This is with, with hazelnuts. These yeah, are these they, are toast. So we took these hazelnuts and we just put mm. them in. We just aren't they great? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we just we just toasted the, the hazelnuts and then we just what put an them, interesting combination to put the hazelnuts. Well, it kind of goes with the amaretto, right? I mean, oh, amaretto. Right. Yeah. So we have the amaretto, the amaretto sauce. Better. So then we put a little more fresh parmesan. And nothing like fresh parmesan hazelnuts. And this is the thing I love. Look at this. Just eat this. Eat oh, this. Eat this. It's I like, love oh this. Oh my God. Fresh, How did you fresh this? sage. So good. Guys, here, have some. Oh, you yeah. already have some. We have some. We got some in here. Is that Believe unbelievable? Me. There's nothing like fresh it. sage. Did you just it's, do it in the pan with yeah, butter? Yeah, you just, you just, you just cook them up. I mean, they just cook in a second. It's, it's so absolutely simple. delicious. And yeah. I want to say that yeah. I have the intention. I want to make this. I want to make this for my wife and yeah. impress her so much because oh you made it look really easy. Do you think I can pull this off? Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, well, 